Hello and welcome back to Still There. Well, there's still our daily routine to be done. Synchronize the low frequency antenna with the current carrier, connect the beacon keyboard to it and play arpeggio the radio file in an ascending fashion. I need help. And um, how should I tune the elevator antenna? Check the manual to see how to enable the antenna tuner. Then use the control 10 and control 11 commands to match the carrier's wave. How do I play the beacon? Check that the keyboard is connected to the low frequency antenna and that the liquid low frequency antenna is tuned to the current carrier. Okay, as you, as you wish. Let's see. Terminal 1, beacon is terminal 4, do something about it. carrier, hmm. them all out. Let's see. We need beacon keyboard and the antenna. So it's four on output, one on input. Okay. Mm. Synchronization control twelve. Um, I really nope. I really wanted to move this out of the way. Eleven twelve. Middle right, middle left, middle. Middle. We need H1, it has to be like this. the radio fire first one third one uh, second one third one and so on uh, it's about how long I need to hold it so it's one three one one but we need only white ones. Nope. Uh, it was... Nope. Yeah, there are seven of them. Okay, so that doesn't help me. Oh, we 
just hold it for really long. Okay. One lower. Done! Music always breaks through. That task ended on a low note, but it's good like that. Night coordinates for most radiating star in a specific constellation. Uh, use the periscope to find the most radiating star in the Glaucius constellation. Write down its coordinates. Okay, Glaucius. This is Glaucius. Oh, that was fast. Uh, five, five. This one is most more. Nine nine Mallory. This is the one. Uh, mail. New mail. X zero point fifty one. Y zero point six forty six nine point nine King E fell. Oh, right, this one. Good job, Carl. Thank you. Set up a duplex communication with Brain Co. After you have completed all the other tasks, you have to set up a duplex uh, HF uh, high frequency antenna modem to mainframe link path. Uh, I think this was it. High frequency to modem to mainframe. Was this the one? Um, yep, modem. Uh, this is the other one. Fancy a chess match? Chess match? Okay. Let's do it. Oh, up for another beat now. Don't hold your horses. Um, me. Who's your daddy? Oh, that was fast. Oh, wait. I don't want to be your daddy. Yucky. I will win eventually. Okay, so I think this is it for today. Is there anything else? Unfortunately, it does not show up as open mail. Sort by newest, please. Mm. Do we have anything in here that we would like to buy? Satellite expander would be nice. <laughs> Although we don't really need it. Okay, I think we can leave it here. Uh, did we feed? You would need some more food. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I hope it was your food. It wasn't designed that way. Um. Mm -hmm. Can I give you this? Nope. Um, how about this? Yep. Can I buy some food for him? Or it? I didn't see it. Okay. I think we should take care of our needs. To recycle my room into fresh water, I'll have to flush the toilet. Next step is to activate the recycle box. Uh, activate the recycle box. Now we need to pick up the urine bag from the recycle box and put it into our kitchen recycle bag. Box. Mm-hmm. 
Of course. Not that. Okay, so now we should have some water. should wash you. Oh. I really hope you cannot hear it because it's something there's something going on. It's time to go to sleep. Did you use it? No. Yes, I need to have them both on me. I guess it's time we go to sleep. Carl, are you there? No, I'm Al, remember? You saved me and all that? Uh, sorry, I was distracted. Hey Al, how are you? I'm weak, but good. So good. But who's Esha? You got a secret space lover out there? Oh, no, no, no. Esha is my daughter. Oh, you're that. It fits. Fits? You know, with your character. Look, I know I said tomorrow, but I thought maybe we could chat a little. Just to let time pass? Mm, sure, I would like that. Nice. You know how they say that in space people tend to get personal very fast because of the extra vacuum effect. Yes, the feeling of immense isolation. I heard that. I guess that's me now. So... Mm, you mentioned you're a pretty good dancer, I. Eh? <laughs> yes, yes, I am. I can float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I don't think that works as a dance analogy. Everything works as a dance analogy if you wanted to. Uh, I was a power to be reckoned with. Did you even dan ever dance at 0 0.6 gravity, Carl? N no, but that sounds fun. Well, I could truly float like a butterfly. What about the sting? Try taking unrequested liberties with me while we dance, and you'll see. Ah, well played. You sound so young. How old are you, Elle? Twenty-one. Oh. That was a weird O. Oh. Um, no, it's the age that, um, it doesn't matter. You don't want me- you don't want to tell me? My daughter would be twenty-one now. Oh, no, I'm so sorry, Carl. What happened, if I may ask? It was an accident. She fell, and... Life can be so immensely fucked up. Yes, it sure can. Hey, I have to go now. I feel really tired. Hey, don't worry. You're still my savior. See you tomorrow, Carl. Uh, I mean, hear you tomorrow. Good night, Elle. Good night, Carl. Where am I? Who are you? Who are you? What is this place? This is the Bento Space Station. Where's my family? I don't know. Are you lost? I'm not lost. Maybe you are lost. Where are Honey and Esha? Honey is, is far away. Esha is gone. What? What happened to them? Did you kidnap me? Don't be ridiculous. I... Wait. Are you me? What the fuck does that mean? Look at you. You're a lonely, depressed fool. Me? I'm happy. Maybe not ecstatic, but rather content. 
I have a beautiful family. Even if I probably don't appreciate them enough, but things are always duller when you're too close. I can't be you. I need to wake up. And for seafarers, chapter 3. And I'm sorry about the sound, but apparently, Steam, after an update, Steam gives achievements a sound. So, there's that. Good morning! Good morning! Wake up, my angel! What happened? You're late! So late! Uh, what time is it? Time to pretend you have a job to do in this space lighthouse. Oh, I feel like I drowned in a sea of weird dreams. That's an interesting metaphor. Or maybe it's an analogy since we're talking about dreams. But back to reality now. You've got a bunch of tasks waiting for you. Yes, the first and the most important one is giving my beautiful, beautiful Lilo some food. Allow me to make some coffee. A recycle box. Thank you. Yes, I want you to use the sink, if you don't mind. Oh wait, this is for food and I wanted a coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Doubles down as a coffee mug. It's filled with. Coffee goes in my favorite cup, which is where exactly? Sorry, I'm blind. Ah, this one. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to check on her today. L? Carl, you didn't forget about me. I'm not that old. How old is that old? More than this old? How old is this old? Older than you, but younger than that. Okay, okay, you're lucky I'm too dizzy with malnutrition to play this game. How are you feeling? Tired, but good. Knowing that this ordeal will be over soon is doing real wonders for my mood. You know, I really loved water when I was a kid. Huh? I mean, I love water now because it's the only thing that's been keeping me alive for weeks. But I really, really loved water when I was a kid. Like the sea? Oh, nothing like that, but we had an artificial lake on Lena. Lena? My planet. Well, more a big rock than a planet. I really loved going to swim there with my mother. By which I mean I loved swimming while my mother watched. She didn't swim with you? No, she never told me that details. Only that she had some kind of accident when she was young. And after that, water just scared her. I think in some way, that's what made me love it so much. Every time we went to the lake, I knew she was setting her fears aside just for me. Just to see me happy. Because of her, that water was full of love. I miss her. She must love you very much. 
Yes, and maybe I should have been less self-centered and told her we didn't have to go to the lake. It doesn't work like that. I found this phrase in a book. The rhythm of time is the composite beat of all the hearts we lost. And faster and faster it goes. It's so true, isn't it? Yes. It's so true. Well, look what happens when you ask me how I feel. I go all vascular on you. Classic uh -huh. Hey. No, 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 no need to hey me now. I think I need to take a short break here before I start crying and maybe this worse. There's nothing wrong with crying. Yeah, it's just that I'm dizzy and totally stressed out, so it might go on for a while. I will call you later, okay? We can talk about something funny. I like funny stuff, you know? I can be hilarious. I have no doubts about that. Bye, girl, and thank you. Bye, L. Okay, let's see. Find coordinates for most radiating star in specific constellation. In Calypte constellation. Um. Uh, what? A problem has been detached and periscope uh, OS has been shut down to prevent eye damage. If this is the first time you've seen this error screen, keep your station's vital systems turned off for two hours, then restart the periscope system. Beware, this could kill any living being within the station. If the screen appears again, follow these steps. Check the new signal amplifiers or disk driver are properly installed. If this is a new installation, ask your hardware or software manufacturer for firmware upgrades. If the problems continue, replace your hard drive with a new one. Mm, contact your system administrator Carl Bento for further assistance. Okay. I hear the machines. Hey, hey, hey! Let's not exaggerate here. What happened? The periscope is broken. I need to fix it if I want to complete the task. Want to? You mean have to? Hmm. Okay, let's try. So I'm reaching out to... I cannot reach out to him. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. What exactly? Check that the new single amplifiers or disk drives are properly installed. Disk, this is useless now. I'll throw it away. Um, where can I get new drives? Hmm. The periscope crashed. What can I do? Is there any error code or description on the red screen of death? It should hint at possible solutions, like replacing faulty hardware or things like that. Thanks. Do we have any spares? Um. I don't think so. Just a, a slap a hand on a spherical object and they, there you have it, imaginary friend, one on one. Plug and play card, but I need new hardware. Art drive. Oh. Okay, let's not play with that for now. Mm. Do we have any hard disk? Uh, here? No? What's that? The cooling system is working properly, no, re no reason to mess with it. Oh. Can I use this one? Okay, it, wor it works. Which constellation? It seems I lost all the constellation names. Oh no. Gorky? 
Um, the constellation names are screwed. How do I recover them? The backup for the constellation names is the system itself. It should never crash, so you're screwed to now. If I remember correctly, and I always remember correctly, because that's who I am, Salvatore Cap knows about the shape of constellations somewhere around the station. Don't forget to inform Brainco about this setback later. Uh, okay, and we are looking for Calypte. I think I saw... Not... Yeah, which ones? They look the same. Greta looks like spider. So we are hunting for both it notes. I hope you are writing this down. No, you're not. Calypte is a hummingbird. Mm hmm. Calypte. This one. 9.4. That's our star. And back into the mail. New mail. X. O. 59. Y. O. 41. 9.4. Key. B. These should be the correct values for the constellation requested. Although it seems I had a hard drive failure and the constellation names are screwed up, I had to replace the drive with the one used on the Tatuardas ter Terrarium. I hope the researchers... something something. Good job, girl! Thanks. Worship Canto Bento Station, please respond. You've got a call, Carl. Copy that. You have a private communication request from Captain Gray DiMaggio. Hold on. Carl? Hello, Captain. We have to talk. You reached the Corona sooner than planned? No, that's going to take another day, but I have a problem. What is it? The Great Hulk representatives are growing a bit by the minute. I'm like a fox chased by dogs here. I thought you were a respected captain, not a wild animal. Don't be a dumbass. You can criticize a metaphor for being figurative. Ah, sorry. Sorry, let me put it differently. Look, I can be a harsh captain, though that doesn't mean I'm not flexible. But right now, my hands are tied, and my feet, and my arms, and whatever helps me deliver the point to you, I can't move. Don't get me wrong, when I'm on the privacy of my own chambers, I do like to be tight now and then. But there's always a safe word, in case things get too extreme. Mine is Bernard. And now I'm saying Bernard, Carl. Fucking Bernard. And you can't abandon the Corona, Captain. I'm not saying I'm going to abandon the Corona, but I need to cut a deal here. With such a lengthy introduction, this sounds like a bad deal already. I need to get back on our original course. What I can do is fire a supply rocket at the Corona's coordinates to get them food. Then, as soon as I'm planet side, I will send a rescue ship. And... The Corona can't move. They won't be able to intercept the rocket. That's not our problem. Once it's in radio range, the rocket will find them and deliver the supplies right on their doorstep. How long will it take? The supply rocket will arrive sooner than us. The rescue ship, well, six weeks maximum. And this is against the Sea and Space Treaty. Yes, thank you, I know. But can't you understand I'm trying to save my life too? Your career is not... I have no family, no pets. I don't even own an apartment, even if I could totally afford it. My career is my life. And that, this warship is my home. No, Captain, you won't turn back, or I will report you, as I said. Oh, fuck's sake, have mercy on me. There's people dying, I only have mercy for them. You must go. 
I ask nicely, Carl. If you refuse my deal, I will feel humiliated. I don't like to be humiliated, Carl. Please, Gray, don't make this about you. Oh, grow up, you sanctimonious prick. You choose to live alone on a faraway space station. What's more narcissistic than that? Captain, I'm sorry for the interruption. What is it? The third mate would like to know if we, we should continue the course. Yes, yes, we should now. Get out of the line. Yes, Captain. Sorry, Captain. I hope you're happy, Carl. Now go to hell. What the hell is going on? Gorky? The cockpit temperature is... Critically increasing. No time to lose, Carl. Find the leak and fix it. This can only get worse. This is definitely the source of the AV overheating. I should find a way to plug it if I don't want to be roasted alive. No, it's useless. Duct tape? Um. Cool, 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 and cool, cool, and um, that did it. This sticky cube of something I could. Ugh, it left my fingers super sticky. Yes, but I think. Well, it's making more sense than usual. Hold on, mate. With this, like a duct tape? Okay, this seems like a good idea, but first I must melt the sticky cube if I want to use it as a glue. Melt it, melt it. Good idea, but the burner is not hot enough to melt this cube. Maybe I can make it hotter somehow. Um. No, no, it was okay. This wasn't designed wet. Oh, nice. The plate is holding up well. Now I just need to restore the cooling cycle. Mm. Phew! Are you okay now, Gorky? Yes, just a little. A shame that you saw me like that. How did this happen? Something caused a dramatic increase in pressure. But the hardware temperature is stable and the cooling system is a closed cycle. It's weird, I don't really have an explanation. <laughs> well, it was scary, but it's fixed now. You better run a general check to be sure it doesn't happen again. We'll get back to my tasks in the meantime. And I'm gonna end this part here. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye! <laughs>